having regard to the fact that the accused <coughs> is not a flight risk and that the accused does not show a propensity to commit violence. The accused, there is no evidence before me, will interfere with state witnesses and there isn't proper evidence before me relating to the public perception of the matter. And having regard to the totality of the evidence before me against the factors that need to be established before the accused may be denied bail, I find that the very non-establishment of those factors set out in section 64A to E, together with the fact that the accused has, in this instance, offered a version under oath at a very early stage, and I do not attach any weight to the investigators, investigating officers' concessions with regard to the defense version. But the fact remains, ordinarily, one gets flimsy affidavits merely saying, I deny the allegations, I will, not, I will not flee. But in this instance, the accused has reached out to try to meet the state case, of course against the background of those improbabilities that I have seen and mentioned. That fact, that reaching out in the affidavit, in the way that he did, placing it before the court, together with the fact that none of the factors that need to be established have been established, I come to the conclusion that the accused has made a case to be released on bail. 